Ryan Garcia turned professional at the age of 17 and has remained undefeated since then. Of his 21 pro fights, 18 have been won by knockouts. Garcia, who began boxing at the age of 7 and always trained with his father in the family garage, had a quick start in the pro ranks, knocking out five opponents in his first six fights. With over 8.8 million Instagram followers, the 23-year-old is well known outside of his professional boxing career. He frequently shares speed bag training videos to his social media accounts, which serves as a reminder of his talents. Stay tuned to the end of the video because we will look over Ryan Garcia's greatest hits, which showcased his incredible speed. Let's go around. Plus, good luck. We're gonna sweat that. Let's go to work. With his quickest showing so far, Garcia caught Miguel with a right hand that put him on the canvas less than 20 seconds into the fight. You guys, now having a moment. Oh, how quick was that? You okay? What's my name? Don't, what? Nothing. What's my name? Referee says Garrisosa and just two punches. A stunned Miguel got up, but Garcia hammered him with a quick left hand, knocking him down again and forcing the fight to be stopped after only 30 seconds. It was just so, you know, so pretty and, and precise. It was a right hook. Big left this hook. Was a, this was a sharp left hook, not a wide left hook. Round number one. Garcia in the black trunks, Rodriguez in the purple and white. Garcia was coming off a tough fight with Carlos Morales in September 2018, but the 20-year-old lightweight looked pretty well that night, dropping Rodriguez in the first round with a left hook and maintaining calm control against a clowning opponent attempting to emotionally upset his young opposition. That never happened, as Garcia kept winning rounds until landing a big right hand in the fifth to finish the fight. How did he weather that? Another one, and a hook, and down he goes. Rodriguez, however, performed to the crowd quite a bit and drew a lot of boos for it, but he didn't achieve anything in the ring. Performance, Garcia. Punches up, watch your punch in the back of the head. Good luck to both of you. When I swear to tell when Ryan Garcia faced Francisco in January 2020, many people wondered how he would take another step up in the competition. Garcia has steadily improved under the guidance of Eddie Reynoso, the man who helped Canelo Alvarez become one of the finest fighters in the world. The 21-year-old proved he's the real deal and a legitimate force in the lightweight division by unleashing a picture-perfect left hook to send Francisco to the canvas in only 80 seconds. It was a spectacular display of reflexes, timing, and power. It just took one shot from Garcia to put an end to the fight, and Garcia's star power shines through every time he enters the ring. Garcia didn't just win, he made a statement. This crowd stunned! Garcia almost apologetic. The tale of the tape, Ryan Garcia and Romero Duno. Filipino Romero Duno was expected to give undefeated Mexican-American prospect Ryan Garcia his toughest test. Romero, however, hardly even made Garcia sweat, lasting less than two minutes before being knocked out in the first round of their highly anticipated lightweight fight. The fight was stopped, cementing Garcia as more than just a social media sensation, but a legitimate boxer who possesses legit skills and a serious danger in the lightweight division. Garcia just 20 years old, Lopez five years older. In front of a sold out crowd at Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino in March 2019, Ryan Garcia dazzled fans and furthered his perfect record after defeating Jose Lopez through the stoppage at the end of round two. Garcia injured Lopez with a three-punch combination in the final seconds of the first round. In the second round, Garcia connected with a hard right hand that pushed Jose's head back, 
From there, he popped the gas pedal, unleashing a flurry of punches, some of which landed, some of which missed, before dropping Lopez by a powerful right uppercut in the last seconds of the round. The shot did enough damage for Jose's corner to decide to end the fight right then and there. I want a good, clean, hard fight. You will obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. In March 2018, super featherweight Ryan Garcia knocked out 29-year-old veteran Fernando Vargas in the first round. The 19-year-old connected with a right-left combination in the closing minutes of the first round to knock Vargas out. Your guy can take a shot and go deeper. It's Garcia at this. Vargas would not be able to stand up for the boxing fans who had come out to watch the big fight. The fight was over so quickly that there wasn't much chance to see Garcia show off his boxing skills. His hand speed and power looked good, but he was in there with a weak opponent. That's the punch he said was going to end the fight. Ryan Garcia, 22 years old. After demonstrating impressive sharpness and hand speed in the opening round, Garcia was hit with a devastating left hand that sent him to the canvas for the first time in his career. The feet and you're going to see a lot more of that whenever you, whenever you see a southpaw and at bay for a while. It's instinctive. That black one seems like he wants to... Oh, left hand sends the kid down! And that's what he was setting him up for. Garcia regained his composure following the knockdown and then dominated the third and fourth rounds with superior hand speed and accuracy, forcing Campbell to be more careful. The tide turned in the fifth when Garcia landed a signature left hook in the final seconds that hurt Campbell badly. Campbell seemed to find his way back into the fight after surviving an opening attack by Garcia in the sixth round. Garcia, on the other hand, began to mix up his blows, leaving Campbell confused. Later on in the fight, in round seven, Garcia had hit Luke Campbell with a fight-ending body shot. In control, you can see that way his body language is reacting, coming forward with no respect. Eddie Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, your young body shot. He goes down, and now Campbell is down. It was the first stoppage loss for Campbell. Even Lomachenko could not stop him. The fight was ultimately Campbell's last bout before his retirement. Although Garcia does not look like the power puncher, his speed and power could knock anyone out. People underestimate him due to his activity on social media, but once they get in the ring with him, it is a different world. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.